Since fall of 2005, Apple has shipped a feature on all of its portables called Safe Sleep. You may have this feature and not even know about it. Let me demonstrate how it works on a new MacBook. As you can see, I have a number of applications open, Parallels, Camino, Keynote, iChat, iPhoto, and they're all up and running and I'm, you know, doing my typical day's work and I go through them. And now let's say I decide to put my machine to sleep, so I close the lid. As you can see, the sleep indicator light comes on, but it's not pulsing. That's because the machine is not yet actually asleep. Instead, what's happening right now is that the memory is being written to the hard drive in case I lose power while the machine is sleeping. I won't lose any data. This is a really nifty feature and it happens automatically on the new machines. I need to wait until that light starts pulsing. There it goes. Now all the data has been written to the disk and I can pull the power cord out of the Mac and I'm going to turn it over and pick up a handy dandy penny and pop the battery out of the book and pop the battery out of the MacBook. This is a little easier with fingernails, but there it goes. So now my MacBook is completely unpowered and it should have shut down losing everything I was working on. I'll put the battery back in place, use my handy dandy penny to lock it in, and I'll put the machine back on the table, power it in with the power cord, and when I open the lid I'm just going to touch the power button as I would to wake it from sleep. And when I do, you'll notice that you get a sort of dark grayish screen coming up with a strange progress bar at the bottom. This is obviously not a cold start, and it's obviously not a normal wake from sleep start. Instead, this is a wake from safe sleep mode or hibernation mode. All of the data that's on the hard drive that represented my open applications is being read back into memory. And there's a close up on the progress bar. When it finishes, I'm back right where I was before. All the applications I had running are still there and everything is working just as it was, even though the machine had absolutely no power when I pulled the power cord